So today, the subcommittee of the CCSA or the Center of COVID-19 Solution Administration just addressed the hospital bed shortage and uh, around the country and also in Bangkok. The subcommittee of the CCSA said to discuss the problem of a lack of hospital beds at the state and also private hospitals to accommodate the increasing number of severe COVID-19 cases. General Natapon Napanit, he is the head of the CCSA panel, said that the Prime Minister, Prayut Chan Ocha, is concerned with reports that several hospitals are running low on available beds and wants the Ministry of Public Health to address the problem and, if necessary, seek help from military hospitals. In the coastal province of Samut Sakon, it is reported that Samut Sakon Hospital, the Gatumban Hospital, and Ban Pao General Hospital now have a combined number of 63 unoccupied beds, out of a total of 541. So private hospitals in the province also reported that their combined 873 bed capacity is now almost full. Hospitals in the coastal province have been providing treatment to local COVID-19 patients as well as those transferred from other provinces, including Bangkok. The province also has a large field hospital. Dr. Anukun Thaitanan, the director of Samut Sakhon Hospital, said that more severe cases are being admitted in the third wave of pandemic, which started in April 2021 compared to the first two waves. The Medical Services Department has also expressed concern over the prospect that all hospitals in and around Bangkok will run out of beds to accommodate new severe cases. For instance, 268 beds in negative pressure ICU rooms are now occupied, leaving 46 still empty, whereas 689 beds in modified negative pressure ICU rooms are almost filled up, with just 68 available. For the less severe cases, 3,529 beds in separate rooms have been filled up, leaving 527 unoccupied. There are also another almost 1,500 beds that are available for the less severe cases, as 6,582 have been occupied. So for beds in hospitals and field hospitals, there are over 3,200 and 803 beds still available, respectively. Medical Services Department Director General Dr. Somsa Akasin said that there are about 200 private hospitals in Bangkok and each of them has one or two ICUs that they do not have sufficient staff to look after all the COVID-19 patients. So to tackle the hospital bed shortage, he suggested that the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration and community leaders adopt a bubble and seal measure in each community to separate the infected. In case of the elderly people, Dr. Somsak said that they should be given vaccinations before they are transferred to hospitals and that all bedridden people must be inoculated too, adding that the new infection rate must be reduced as quickly as possible, otherwise the existing health system will be overwhelmed. He also advised the general public to restrict their movements and to strictly observe the safety measures adopted by the public health ministry. Meanwhile, the CCSA spokesperson, Dr. Thubisik Wisenayotin, said that as most patients are in Bangkok and nearby provinces, some have to wait for hospital beds. People who are asymptomatic and those with mild symptoms can move to hospitals for treatment. He admitted that state hospitals in Bangkok and nearby provinces are full, while private hospitals are also experiencing shortage in beds. As most of the current COVID-19 cases are in Bangkok and nearby provinces, some people are still waiting for beds. People who are asymptomatic and those with mild symptoms can move to hospitals for treatment. As for people with moderate or severe symptoms, the Bangkok Deputy Governor will hold a meeting to discuss the increase of hospital capacity to accommodate them.